In this video, we're going to show how a button list can be used to control a tab object, much like you would see in a typical Apple iOS application. So you can see how we have a UX component and we've embedded three different grids, a customer grid, a categories grid, and a salesperson grid. And what we would like to do, instead of using the standard tab buttons here to select the active tab, we'd like to use a button list. So let's go back to design mode now and uh, put a button list in. So we'll go here and uh, we'll put in our button list and we'll just call it, say, button list 1. And then we'll move it to the top of the list. Uh, so let's go there and move that up and now go and define the button list. So we'll go here and we'll say that the button list is going to be uh, displayed horizontally and that we'd like to use the button list builder. So let's go here and add a button called B1, another button called uh, B2, and another button called, say, B3. And then for the first button, we'll specify a um, text of uh, customers and a value of uh, customers in uh, lowercase c. So then for this one we'll go here and we'll type in categories and we'll set the value to categories with a lowercase c and here we'll go sales people and again we'll go S-A-L-E-S-P-E-L-P-L-E. -E -E. So now we've placed our button list on uh, the uh, component, but we haven't specified that the button list controls the tab yet. Let's go also turn off the uh, label position so we don't have a label. So now we're going to go to this tab and we're going to go and specify that the method for selecting the active uh, tab pane is going to be automatic. And now we're going to go and define the expressions. So we want this first pane to show when BL1 equals customers. So we'll go now to our show pane expression and we'll say insert field BL1 equals customers and uh, we'll use uh, lowercase customers and then go there. And now we've defined that expression. Now for this expression we're going to go here and specify this is equal to categories and then finally for our last expression we're going to go there and say salespeople. So let's now save this away and go to run mode. So we can see there's um, customers. Now we press on categories and now we press on salespeople. So we can see that we've now uh, used a button list to control the active um, the active pane and when we first show this we'd like to actually have customers be uh, depressed so let's go back there and set a default value here of customers so now when we go over to um, working preview and we look at our component you can see customers is depressed and uh, um, the customer grid is shown and then when we click on categories uh, we see the next grid and then click on salesperson and then we see the next grid. So we've been able to use the button list now as the method for selecting the active uh, pane uh, in the uh, tab control and uh, the final uh, little improvement we can do is turn off the border if we want that appears around uh, each tab pane. So let's go back to our tab control here and turn off this uh, checkbox over there and now when we go over to working preview we see a clean screen with no border around um, the uh, um, each uh, uh, tab pane and we've implemented a UI that looks very much like you would see in an iOS application. Thanks very much for watching.